I'm Dr. Eyes, and I'm going to review a free beta climate change tool with you called AgriAdapt. AgriAdapt was developed because the climate crisis is disrupting food systems. So agriculture is particularly hard hit by climate impacts because the sector depends on particular weather conditions to grow, store, and transport food. Under these conditions, predicting future risk and impacts on agriculture can be difficult. Uh, the tool that I'm going to review helps to answer questions for policymakers and businesses such as where might we see water shortages, what areas and local communities are particularly vulnerable, and where might there be landslide, landslide susceptibility, etc. We'll go over more of that. So knowing this information will better inform decisions on how to plan and prepare and ensure that resources and information reach the groups who need them. So let's take a quick look at the tool. Enter the URL agriadapt.org and you'll land on the home page. Here you can select your language from the menu. There's a few ways to navigate here. Click on explore the map on the top menu and you um, can explore over 20 global data sets relevant to assessing climate risks, featuring historical, current, and future projections and you can visualize them separately or together. So let's look at vulnerability to climate change index. By clicking on the little eye in the lower corner of the legend, we can learn more about what this map means and where the data comes from. So what we learn here is that the higher the score, the better prepared a country is to respond to climate disruptions. So the darker the red, the darker red the country, the more concerned we can be. Um, users can layer multiple data sets on top of each other. Uh, this helps identify climate risks, in particular um, climate vulnerable regions. Um, and other um, indicators you might be interested in. So we could layer agricultural exposure to water stress on top and use this to identify vulnerability hotspots. So here we can see that both Ecuador and Peru face relatively high vulnerability to climate change and their coastlands face high water stress in agricultural areas. This is valuable information for these areas um, to know and prepare for the stressors that are coming. We can also explore key indicators showing the main climate vulnerabilities that certain crops face um, or that are exposed to on every step of the value chain. So let's go back to the home page and up to the main menu and you see that there's coffee, cotton, and rice. Um, from this menu, let's pick coffee and here you see we can explore various ways climate change will affect the coffee value chain from land suitability to labor and more. As you see, we can move through the chain from inputs to production to trade. There are more functionalities, but that wraps us up for this short demo. The tool is in its beta phase, but there's a lot of helpful and interesting content, so I recommend taking some time to explore. Um, it's being designed and developed by the World Resource Institute, um, funded by Walmart Foundation, and it's a participatory stakeholder-driven approach. So the project is also supported in critical ways by Klima y Café in Colombia and the National Agri Foundation in India.